and a lot of people say, oh, well, it's, it's very little, short time under tension to worry about, yeah. but you could already be two or three reps away mm -hmm. from just dropping dead. Well, if you're not taking somebody's blood pressure, you have no idea. You think you're doing the right thing. You're actually you're actually hurting them. Yeah. I, mm. I've never said, okay, give me your top three goals. Somebody goes, well, I'd really love to die of a heart attack. That'd be super cool. <laughs> you know, I'd really like my chest opened up or, or have a stent put in. You know, yeah. it's just ridiculous. But people don't tend to take hypertension seriously enough because doctors don't tell them how serious it is. And in the research we did, 50% of people who get prescribed hypertensive medications don't even fill them out. And the reason being is because it's an asymptomatic condition. Yeah. You wouldn't even know you have it. So no. it's like the, that's why they call it the silent killer. It's not silent if you know what to look for. Mm. So we just want to try and educate people on what mm. to look for so it's, it doesn't kill you silently. <laughs> About 90 to 95% of diagnosis is from doctors, like medical diagnosis of hypertension is primary hypertension, which means they cannot discern a cause. They have no fucking idea. Yeah. So in their mind, if there's no cause, there's no treatment. Right. So they just give you pills to manage it. And going back to what Luke mentioned about only 50% of people filling their scripts for hypertension is because, again, asymptomatic, they have no idea, they've got n nothing affects their daily life having high blood pressure, but then they start taking their medication and there's all these side effects. Yeah. So they're like, fuck this right off, I'm just going to go back over here and, and not do anything. But yeah, yeah sorry, carry on. No, so it, you're hypertension? Yeah, part of it, they, they don't give lifestyle stuff. Doctors aren't mm -hmm. trained in lifestyle medicine. They're mm -hmm. not trained in nutrition. They're not trained in training. So it's, it's going to be up to us in the field to actually understand that stuff so we can work with their doctor and, and help get them healthy enough where maybe we can limit some of these side effects or, or eventually the doctor might even take them off their medication because they're regulating it so well. One of the big dangers of being close to like, say 90 over 55, 90 over 60 or a little bit below is postural hypotension. And in here that's a big deal because let's say someone does a heavy squat, okay, they're trying to push that blood pressure up. If they have a reactive drop, they could pass out and hit their head on something mm -hmm. or they could pass out and fall over and break their arm. Uh, again, leg press, that's a big one. Like if I have somebody with really low blood pressure, if I put them on the leg press, I'm gonna make sure that they sit there for a minute or two before they stand up because I don't want them to pass out. Yeah. Um, when you look at prehypertension, one, it's above 120 over 80, below 130 over 90. Now that's not that big of a deal, it's easy, yeah. easy to fix. That could be an easy thing, cutting, add a little bit more potassium rich foods, eat more plants, uh, cut some saturated fat, cut some, cut some salt, right? Yeah. 